In this journey that we call life, there's a lot of things that you'll do that nobody will understand. Why are you not at the barbecue? Mm. Why are you not at your mother's birthday? Mm. Why are you not at your uncle's funeral? Mm. Why are you not traveling on these family vacations? Why are you not spending time with your girlfriend? Why don't your friends, in quotes, see you? They won't understand you. And they won't understand why you do what you do. They won't understand what's going through your head. They won't understand your actions because they won't understand your vision until you've achieved it. Because you will have shown them the path to the ultimate rise. Mm -hmm. And it's funny that that's the way that that happens, right? They won't understand it until it's plastered in front of their face in a fucking big sign saying, hey, I'm rich. Hey, hey, I did it. Hey, I, I, I accomplished the thing I wanted to accomplish, right? Wow. Yes. Just like that. I wish y'all could see the notes that we have in here. But yes, just like that. <laughs> and they will never understand it until you show them. And I saw a video yesterday. It was like, we, we all know faith. Faith is basically saying, hey, look, you may not understand it. You may not be able to visualize it with your senses. But you believe. Now, most people, most of the world, with anything they do, they're like, I'll see it first, then I'll believe you. But in order to accomplish any of this big shit, in order to accomplish having a fucking Lamborghini, uh, a Porsche, having actually all those cars, and you get to pick what day you want to drive, what, what watch you want to wear with it, what fucking um, red bottoms do you want to have with it, and then also, what you want to have with it, too, on every day. You could just call, you know, another one. And it's like, hey, I want this one this day. And then we could go do this. If you want all that shit, you have to believe it before you can really understand or conceive that you can do it. Because it takes a lot of work for you to get to that point to where you have those things. And most people, they will never understand what's the point. Because they see all that shit and like, yeah, that's cool. You know, having those cars, having those clothes, having, you know, that success, having that money is cool. But it's just taking you so much time, so much work. You're, you're not sleeping that well. You're not eating that well. You're not going on fucking uh Trips to to Cuba, not Cuba. <laughs> I mean, trips, it could be Cuba. Yeah, it yeah, could be yeah. Cuba. Trips to fucking uh, Puerto Rico or something like that. You're not doing all this fun shit, fun shit with us. You know why? Like, I understand what you're trying to do, but we have so much time. Just put it off. You know, you could do that when you're 30. What's the point? Have fun now. But <laughs> you know, and it's funny. It's really funny because they will just not understand what you're trying to do. They don't understand that one, tomorrow isn't fucking promised. So you saying, hey, I'll just put it off until I'm 30. You may not even get to that if you continue down the path that you're you know, on right now. And you have to block out people like that because they can influence your, well, if you're not, if you haven't been built up a mental fortress to deter things like that, they can influence your decisions and steer you off the pathway to success. Because if you're surrounding yourself with a whole bunch of people that don't understand, it's going to blurry your perspective and your vision of what's possible and what's not. Because you're surrounding yourself with a whole bunch of people saying it's not possible. But say you do have people like that around you and you still have the mental fortitude to say, you know what? You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, and you're wrong. And you still progress and you still make it out. That is something that only you will understand. But that's why only you will get the benefits. I thought you were going to say prevent forest fires. I thought about it, but I was like, you know what? I have to finish the punchline for Ron. One day they're going to understand. Mm -hmm bear with me oh. when we say only you and then we apply our own saying our long-term viewers will understand right. what we're saying yeah and where it comes from love y'all 
Now, I think that the most interesting question that you can ask in this context is why do we care if people understand us? Let's pack that or let's unpack that a little bit. Let's see. Let's see if we can understand the origins of that emotion or that thought or that feeling. We're naturally community based animals who look for validation in within our community, within our society and within our species or group that we fall into within the species of Homo sapiens. Now, that's because our survival is dependent on our acceptance into the group because we are herd animals. However, interestingly enough, times have changed, but we haven't evolved yet to adapt to these times. So we find ourselves in a more isolated society where success actually comes about by isolation because survival is no longer 1000% dependent on being accepted into a community because basic necessities in your life can be handled without collaboration or corroboration through means of a currency because money will essentially get you everything that you need nowadays with the exception of potentially happiness. But that's a discussion for another day. What I mean to say is we have remnant thoughts within our minds that's seeking validation from the group, from the herd, but that's actually counterproductive in most scenarios to your progression. Most of the time you actually have to completely separate yourself and disassociate yourself from the group that you're with in order to pursue excellence. Because oftentimes when you're seeking to better yourself, your surroundings do not match what you are going for. And so when you're not around people who are going in the same or have the same ambitions as you, you're setting yourself up for failure. A lot of things can be said about who you surround yourself with. One of the sayings that we often refer to is that you are accumulation of the five people you spend the most time with, which we believe is entirely true. Meaning if you spend time with whiny sissies, you're going to be the fifth whining sissy. If you spend your time around five millionaires, it's only natural that at some point in time in your life, you will become a millionaire. You will become what is around you. We absorb it like a sponge and then we eventually become exactly like our surroundings. Pros and cons. There's goods and bads to that. So be mindful, be selective and be picky. Understand, however, that your proclivity to want to fit in is not a bad thing mm. if you know how to use it. And you know what's interesting about that? We come from a relatively good area. However, our parents and our families, not so much. So <clears throat> we grew up in this environment, which kind of shaped us and molded us to be you know, a certain type of way. However, we would go back and spend time with our families, you know, whether it's the summer or what have you, in different environments. And we would, we would spend an extended period of time there, which would make us adapt to those environments. Maybe the way you talk becomes a little bit different. Maybe the way you dress becomes a little bit different. Maybe the way that you eat becomes a little bit different because of the environment that you're in. And that's what's around. And that's how you have to maneuver in order to not die, <laughs> for one. So True. Yeah. Yes. So having, because even you going back to Nicaragua for a time, you had to, you couldn't wear certain shit. Certain shit that you would eat would be, you know, different. Of course, what you say, how you say shit, the language different than here. So all these things that you had to change because of the environment that you're in. So when you say who you surround yourself with and where you place yourself, and when we say location, 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 it's so important because if you're surrounded by a bunch of people that don't understand, move yourself out of that and find people who do. And it might be difficult, or you may think it might be difficult to do so. And shit, to be honest, it might to find people like that. Because I think we got relatively lucky by knowing each other for so long. And we end up being, you know, basically the same person as far as 
our drive to want to fucking beat people at shit. <laughs> but I think that we got relatively lucky when it came to that. But most people may not be so lucky. So I always get this, this comment said to me by multiple people. And they're like, well, I don't think there's any good women or men out there. And my, my thought is, yes, there is. You just haven't put yourself out there enough to fucking find them. Because you're like, you talk to fucking, who, who knows? You might think that you talk to, you know, a good amount of, of women and you talk to like five and they all said fucking no. Oh, the world's over. They all said no. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's five women that you got denied by, that you got rejected by. You know how many women are on this fucking planet? Probably about three to four billion. And I'm not saying all of them are fine. I'm not saying all of them are fine, but... Out of that three to four billion or however much it is, I'm pretty sure that there's one out there for you. At least one. That's <laughs> 3.95 billion in 2022. There you go. Damn and, near perfect. And, you know, you probably make up some excuses to why, oh, man, they're probably located somewhere. It doesn't fucking matter. If you want to be around or have access to something or get something that others don't, put yourself around people that do understand what you're talking about. And even if it's one, it doesn't matter. And there was a particular video by this particular person that the internet doesn't uh, enjoy right now that said, fuck all that doing it by yourself type of shit. And we, 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 we know this. Get a wolf pack. Get a, a person or a group that you can travel and do things with that have the same mindset and you can talk about getting money on like a fucking daily basis and for some people that may not seem like the dream but for some people it is and for those people that like to do things like that or that want to or aspire to do things like that find those people that you can surround yourself with and you will be surprised by how quickly your life starts to change when you start having those conversations with like-minded people and not only having those conversations, but actually putting the shit into action. Because even if it's failure, sometimes you can fail forward or you can fall forward because then you realize, okay, that didn't work. Now it's on to this. So, and that's all the things that I just fucking said are again, what most people don't understand about this shit and about life. And you have to surround yourself with those people that do. Because when you do that, it exponentially increases your likelihood of success and the timeliness of that success. I had something and it just, mm. I saw somebody on the bike and I was like, squirrel. Damn. Like the dog from uh, Up. Was that it? Yeah, the little golden retriever. With, with the voice box. It's a good movie. That's exactly, yes, it's a good movie. It's a real movie. Some people won't understand it, but. They won't understand it. You know? Okay, where was I going with this? They won't understand. <laughs> hmm. I feel like it was the same point as before, just from a different perspective, but I don't think that was what I wanted to say. Well, how about this? Unless you recall, what about, I think that you can speak to having people that you are close with not understand. How do you navigate that? Because it's different when Joe Schmo from down the street doesn't understand what you're doing. But yeah, fuck Joe. your family, someone that you deem as, you know, a close person to you not understanding what you're trying to do. How is that how does navigating that work because that's something that you if you want to do this shit it's gonna happen whether they say that they're oh yeah they're, I'm, I'm for you uh, have fun do what you can at some point they're gonna be like mm, why am i not seeing you as much why are you not doing this why are you not doing that interesting i think one of the reasons why specifically family members or people close to you won't understand you is because they've never done what you're trying to do. A lot of the people who you're, nobody's going to look down at you 
when they're above you. You ever heard the saying that people only hate on you because they're doing worse than you? They're envious of something. They're jealous of something. There's an attribute or something that you have going on that they don't, and they want that shit bad. So they take it out on you because they're upset. They're weak. They're beneath you. Now, I'm not saying that close family members, relatives, and people who love you are engaging in those particular behaviors, but they might be concerned. They may think that you not getting enough sleep, you not having a proper diet, you not being able to exercise as much as you used to, or what have you, spending a, a little less time with them, not taking vacations. They might think all these things are negative and that they're not working in your favor, but they also don't understand where you're headed because somebody who knows where you're going or has personally been there will understand the sacrifices that you're making. Now, perhaps their criticism comes from a place of, yes, I've already been there and this is a better approach that you could take. But if it's not constructive criticism or it's not positive feedback, then it holds no bearings. And in reality, you have to essentially callous yourself and there becomes a point where you can no longer explain things and you just have to say, watch me. That's, just, that's all you can do. Because if you spend too much time explaining while they're complaining, then you just look like you actually don't even know what you're doing. Because a pilot doesn't explain to the passengers how he's flying the plane. Mm. The pilot doesn't tell you what's the tilt angle. He doesn't tell you what axis they're on. He doesn't tell you anything. He and, says, and we'll why is that? arrive in two, three hours. Because there's no need. He's a professional. He doesn't need to explain to you. And more than anything, he's going to stress out all the passengers on the plane and be like, well, we're going to encounter an extreme turbulence at 12,000 feet, so we have to drop to 10 or we'll go up to 15. And, you know, the fuel is starting to run faster and the right turbine has a, has a warning sign on it, a, a warning button is just beeping in my fucking face. <laughs> but we're going to land just fine. The weather in Austin, Texas is 70 degrees <laughs> and the humidity is nice and humid. It's almost like Houston. Exactly. And, and you think... They're not going to care about that last no, part. No. All they're going to hear is about the shit that sounds like it's dangerous. Even if it's not that dangerous to the pilots, it's going to go right over their fucking head. So that's a wonderful fucking point. And you always have that one screaming lady in the background for yes. no reason. And one crying baby. Yes. Always one of those. And then every now and then the guy that kicks off the plane because he's trying to fight somebody and then he gets knocked the fuck out. There you go. But anyways. But yes. I think that was a wonderful point, Jose. And it, it, it sucks because there's certain things that you wish that you could just make people get, make people understand, see life through the lenses that you currently have. And what you'll realize is for most people, you can't make them understand. I was talking to a close friend of mine, you know, him, boxer. And I was trying to make him understand something in terms of religion. Mm -hmm. And me trying to make him understand actually kind of pushed him away from it even more. Because he, feel, he felt like it was me force feeding him my opinion and my belief in, instead of letting him seek it himself. And then if he had a question, then I answer it or try to answer it. So with most people, things are going to be like that. You're not going to be able to convince them. You're not going to be able to make them believe what the fuck you have going on and what the fuck you're saying. More often than that, you're going to have to lead by example and show people. And to be able to do that, that takes time. So you're gonna have to deal with the lack of understanding for an extended period of time and continue to do the fucking work whether people believe in you or not. And that's the hard part. That's the, the part that may get lonely even if you have some people to go along the journey with. Because those people you may or may not go home to and the people that you go home to are the ones that don't believe. So whether you have that person or not, you're not going to be able to escape having those people around you that won't understand. And this is why we say, hey, you have the right to brag once you get to a certain point, 
because you're doing all of this despite all the fucking no's, all the the road bumps, all the people around you telling you that you should stay here and be cozy with me and not go out, not work, not go to the gym, be lazy, do what I'm doing. You won in spite of all those fucking things that most people will center their life around. You have every right to fucking brag because when you were going on that road by yourself and nobody believed in you, nobody understood why you're doing it. You didn't get distracted. You said, okay, I'm going to keep going no matter what. That's why you succeeded. And that's why you get to brag. And that's why you understand the work that you put in and why it got you to where you got. But others won't. And that's something that you just, they just may never understand until, again, you have that sign that says, hey, I fucking did it. And it's funny, that's why most men fail in courting women. Mm. Because they try to shove something down their throat and say, this is who I am. This is what I do. I'm successful. I have money. Look at me. Look at me. But you know, one of the most interesting things that I think a lot of women nowadays miss as well, true beauty doesn't have to say it's beautiful. A diamond is not loud. Gold is not loud. It's shiny. It's beautiful. It's naturally beautiful. Similar to a pearl. You look at it and you go, wow, that is a thing of beauty. But it doesn't go, I'm a badass, boss ass, independent bitch. I do this and that. I pay my own bills. I don't need no man. It doesn't say, I, you know, know your worth, know this. No, it doesn't say any of that bullshit. It doesn't need to. It's the same. And it, it, I'm not just picking on women. I'm picking on men as well. I actually started it off by yeah, saying yeah. it was men. Exactly. But you because, know they're never going to hear that. <laughs> yeah, they're never going to get that. <laughs> But guys are out here like they're flexing, they rent the Lambo on the weekends, they act like they're rich, they go on vacations in Cancun, they're on their Instagram story like they're influencers and this and that. And yeah, they can deceive these chicks, but then they get in the relationship and then it gets horrible and then it becomes toxic because the women realize that they're not the men that they say they are, And then, the, but the women don't want to leave them or they leave them and then the guy becomes a you know, heathen, whatnot. It's a, whole, it's a whole ordeal and all of that because you did you aren't who you say you are mm. and you're trying to get somebody to understand what you want them to understand mm. that's not the reality of who you are so you're deceiving them and you're deceiving yourself so you're doing a disservice to everybody mm. and i think that's why a lot of guys and women fail when it comes to making connection because they can't even be they don't understand themselves so how do they expect somebody else to understand them bar i think we can end on that no that was a fucking bar the yeah, amical podcast signing out mike mike check the am club podcast